demoing out this new foundation that I got. I don't know if it's that new, but it's new to me. So we are gonna be demoing out this foundation. It's called the Dior Skin Forever Undercover. We are gonna put it to test. I am going to give you my first impressions and I'm gonna wear it throughout the whole entire day. So if you wanna know what I think about this foundation, then just go ahead and keep watching. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the packaging of the foundation. This is what it looks like. And this is the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Foundation. It's a 24 hour wear, full coverage, fresh, lightweight foundation. So that's what excites me the most about this. It's full coverage. It's supposed to last 24 hours and it's a water-based foundation. So it's supposed to be very light to the skin. It's not supposed to feel any heavy or anything like that, even though it's supposed to give you the full coverage. So we all know the situation with my face. I'm in, I am an oily acne prone skin type and this foundation, it's supposed to be catering to everybody. Um, so as I am looking on here, it is full coverage and it is for any skin type. So it covers sensitive skin, normal skin, dry skin, combination skin, and oily skin. So this is supposed to be such a good foundation for everybody. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test. Now the little packaging of the foundation is really cute. It's a little, it's like a little squeezy tube. Um, so if we open it up, oh <laughs> it's a little squeezy tube and there it goes and I'm not sure if this color is going to match me we shall wait to see if it does oxidize or not but it has a little squeezy tube I like that that you can pour the amount that you need um, and then you just twist it and it kind of like pops like a seal on there so it's nice and secure um, the packaging is really nice and then if you look at it on the side it just says forever undercover 24 hour full foundation made by Dior and it's really cute. So this one was more of on the like higher end um, type of foundations that I have and this one I think it retails for $52 but I got it for the VIB sale so it was 15% off. So yeah we're gonna go ahead and put this foundation to test. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. I already primed and set my face so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and I'm gonna go about my day and I will be doing check-ins. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the application and as I am going through the website it says to apply undercover foundation with fingers or with a foundation brush for full coverage. So I am gonna be using this Morphe M439 foundation brush. It's my little buffing brush. Um, I was gonna use my Beauty Blender because um, that's just my favorite way of applying foundation. But since I am trying to go for the full coverage and that's what it suggests on the website of how to use this foundation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it that way. And we'll see if the brush really does give the full coverage. If not, we'll go ahead and switch it up to the Beauty Blender. Um, but I'm just gonna dab a little bit and we're just gonna go ahead and go right in. Okay. So, so far, it does feel very lightweight, although I've just done like a little patch. I am kind of liking this already. Like I can pretty much tell if I'm gonna like a product or not. Um, and so far, it did cover quite a few and it was just like a drop that I put. So it is pretty pigmented, I would say. Let me just go ahead and go in with a little bit more because that pretty much covered the whole half of the face and it was just a little dot. I'm surprised. I thought I would gonna, I thought I would be needing more. Do you guys see the difference? Oh, this foundation smells good. Oh, I really like how this foundation smells. It smells really good. I don't mind the scent at all. It smells really good. And it's really, really matte. I could tell that it already pretty much dried out in the skin, but I do need to cover a little bit more. So I am gonna go ahead and go in with just a little bit more on this side. Just one more dot. I don't know. I think this foundation is awesome. 
and it does feel very lightweight it does dry out really fast it is super matte I can tell that it did kind of like blur out my pores right in here where my t-zone is at um, I could definitely see the difference already but with this foundation I would say that you do have to work with it really fast because it does dry out fairly quickly like I can't blend anymore because it's pretty much dry but I'm curious I don't know you guys but I'm very curious of how it would do with um, with the beauty blender so on this side I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the beauty blender to see which one gives me the best coverage oh, there's a little mosquita it oh it's about to be a mosquita muerta like in a minute right now if it just keeps annoying me <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my beauty blender I'm gonna be using the little round part of it down at the bottom this is how much I am using and I'm gonna go ahead and go in right in here to see which one gives me like the best coverage either the buffing brush or if a beauty blender would be better um, for full coverage um, and then we'll just go from there but so far I am really liking the brush side like that thing it covered a lot and I hope that the beauty blender doesn't soak up the product but I think I think this side is pretty much done. This was with the Beauty Blender, now I can't. Oh yeah, I could see it. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this side looks more cover looks like it has a little bit more coverage than this side. I feel like it's still a little bit sheer. Like I could see some of my little red spots down here, and I could still see my pores sticking out more than this side. Do you guys see that? Like I feel like right in here, you can still sheer. So yeah, definitely, I would definitely use a brush to go in with this foundation. It would give you the best coverage, just like the website says, so I should have listened to them. But um, just for purposes of this video, I went ahead and did both the beauty, the beauty blender and the brush. But definitely, the brush is the winner for this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over it with one more coat, and I'm gonna be using the brush for this side. Um, and then we'll just, I'll come back once I'm done with my full face and I will start doing my check-ins. Alright guys, so the whole makeup is completely done and let me tell you, damn, this foundation is bomb. I already know I like it, but I will still check in with you guys. It's super matte. It makes my face look so flawless, even though it's totally not. I am liking it. I am totally liking this. So I will do check-ins and then we'll go from there. Hey guys, so this is my first check-in. It is now 524, so I've been wearing this foundation for five hours and about 30 minutes, 24 minutes, and I think the foundation still looks so good. Like, that's the highlight. It still looks so good and it looks really flawless. Like by now, my face would have like taken over the foundation and I think it still looks really good. My oils are kind of peeking through, but I actually like how it looks now. I think in the beginning of the face was a little bit too matte. And I'm liking this. I'm really liking this foundation. So this is the first check-in. So I will check back again with you guys later on and we'll see where it goes from there. So you guys, I am doing my check-in and it is now seven hours. The face still looks bomb as fuck. And I'm shopping for my Cinco de Mayo outfit. That's why there's a big, loud background. <laughs> Did nobody, I'm doing a check-in, ugly. <laughs> so yeah, the face is looking good. Decision, decision. So this is now my last and final check-in. So my oils are now peeking through. I've been wearing the foundation for like about 10 hours. Um, I am gonna get ready to go to bed and wash it all off. But overall, I think 10 hours was a pretty good time frame to test out the foundation. I think my face still looks good. My oils are now peeking through. Um, see, it's starting to get shiny up in here in the T-zone, but I definitely do like this foundation, I very much know that it's gonna be one of my favorites. So I highly recommend this foundation. If you are interested in it, 
uh, it's fancy but it's so worth it I really do like it so this is gonna complete this video I hope that you guys liked it and I hope this that you guys found it helpful if you are more interested in this and yeah make sure to, sh to give me some love and support give me some thumbs up don't forget to ring my little bell and please don't forget to subscribe so I will see you guys on the next one bye bye Oh, 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 oh,